हेलो फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज निखिल टुडे इज डेट इज 12th ऑफ सितंबर 2022 द टुडे टॉपिक नेम इज रिकर्शन इन जावा व्हाट इज रिकर्शन इन जावा रिकर्शन इज मेथड दैट कॉल इटसेल्फ अगेन एंड अगेन इट दिस इज नोन एज रिकर्सिव मेथड एंड द प्रोसेस इज नोन एज रिकर्शन इन इन फिजिकल वर्ल्ड द ऑब्जेक्ट केप्ड बिटवीन टू पैरेलल मिरर इज नोन एज Uh, that object is recursively, uh, repeatedly uh, reflecting the recurs uh, recursion. This is also a generalized example. Then you will see how does recursion work. For example, in recursion we don't don't use loops. So we call only method again and again. Yeah. And if there are two types of recursion, finite recursion and infinite recursion. Finite recursion means there is no con. We will see through uh, finite recursion means uh, there is no condition in the for method, and in finite uh, there is condition for method. In finite condition means there is no condition for method. Then first we will see finite condition is uh, finite uh, recursion ex with example. Uh, for example, uh, in math method I will call some method with argument ten, and uh, in And that argument then I will pass to uh, some method. Uh, some if I will initialize one counter in main method in counter equal to zero. If if counter is less than nine, I will call some method and again and again. So uh, what will I will what output I will get? One one to ten. One two three four five six seven eight nine ten. For first uh, after first iteration when flop counter co comes to main method. Uh, first argument ten is passed to uh, passed to to some method, some method, and in, it will check if counter is less than ten, then it will again call some method, uh, some method, and increase counter by one. So when it comes to next iteration, the counter value will be one, and the some val uh, some value will be uh, last updated in it. So uh, we will get a finite number of answers. Uh, So this is known as finite recursion. Second type of recursion is infinite recursion. Taking the same example, if the if condition is not there, we are calling only the some method, some method, some method. It will go into infinite loop or infinite number of answers are seen in the output. So this is known as infinite recursion. Then third, we will see uh, advantages of recursion. What are advantages of recursion? In recursion, <coughs> because of rec recursion. Uh, uses uh, stack memory because when when we uh, because recursion returns returns a uh, old value that uh, returns old value which is stored in stack and cleans it so recursion is a require large memory and it is a slow process uh, but looping statement iterative statement are uh, fast process and require uh, less memory because they are temporary stored first iteration is completed then the Variable value is overridden, so we cannot find get the value which is stored between uh, which is stored first. Then we will see factorial example. Factorial uh, using recursion. Fact, uh, what we will I will do? Uh, I will get factorial method call factorial method uh, in the main method and pass argument of five. Argument five. Uh, and fact, uh, factorial method. Factorial method five and in factorial method I will call again and again factorial method and do it in n minus one. Uh, when call goes to factorial method, that that uh, when call goes to factorial method, it will uh, call itself again and again, again and again. Then uh, for first, then we we will output get, get then we will get output one twenty. This is all from my side. Thank you.